Hi everyone, this is Average React and this is another movie review. Before anything, please remember to like, comment and subscribe and press the wee bell to get notified for any new videos we have. Okay, this movie is going to be Chinatown and before we get into it, it's going to contain spoilers but the movie's been out for almost 50 years so if you haven't watched it now, you're probably never going to watch it but it does contain spoilers if you may think you may want to watch it. A 1974 movie directed by Roman Polanski. Starring Jack Nicholson and Faye Dunaway and a bunch of other actors. Too many to name. The movie takes place in LA 1937. It follows Jake Giddies, who is a private investigator who is hired to spy on the chief engineer of the Department of Water and Power, Hollis Mulray, by his wife Evelyn, Evelyn Cross Mulray. Evelyn believes her husband is cheating. Giddies follows him, spies on him. Sees him a court arguing against the construction of a, of a reservoir. This is really important. Remember this point. Giddy's later discovers uh, Hollis with another woman, takes a few pictures, and then pictures are published in the newspaper, confirming his infidelities. Simple enough. Job done. But hold on. Giddy's later discovers that his Giddy's later discovers that the woman who hired him to spy on Hollis wasn't actually the wife, Evelyn Cross Mulray. He discovers this here when Evelyn Cross Mulray contacts him and hires him to find her husband's killer. Wait, did I miss something? After having his infidelities plastered across the newspaper, Hollis Mulray turns up dead, and then the real Evelyn Cross Mulray hires him to find his husband's killer. After having his infidelities plastered across the newspaper, Hollis Mulray ends up and turns up dead, and then the real Evelyn Cross hires Giddies to find his killer. So that's where the story kind of begins, starts kicking off and all too. Uh, this movie has so much twists and so much turns it would even frustrate Christopher Nolan. Okay, if you haven't watched the movie but here in that storyline you kind of want to watch it, I'll give you a few minutes to end this video because I'm probably going to spoil the ending for you. Hurry up. Come on. Hurry up. Okay. Okay, now in my opinion. I love this movie. I truly did. I really, really enjoyed this movie. I love thrillers. I love detective movies. And this is what this movie is. Is this like a detective thriller? So you love that movie, you're gonna love this movie. Very slow paced, but really enjoyable. I loved how it looked, how it felt, how it sounded, how the overall feeling of the movie is a classic and it lives up to the expectation. However, I don't think this movie is a hundred percent perfect. I feel the ending is a bit weak and lifeless. Personally, my talking to people, they loved it, but personally, I just felt it was a bit weak. I almost felt like the the director, who we're not going to name again, was trying to be edgy, trying to be cool, almost because it's, it's very bleak ending. It's very an unsatisfying ending. But some people like these endings. I didn't like it. I'm not going to spoil it because there's no point. But I wasn't satisfied with the ending. I was satisfied with three three quarters of the movie or two thirds of the movie. To be fair, it's probably like four four fifths of the movie. The last. 10 minutes, last 5 10 minutes, I didn't really like it. I felt the movie was so complex and it was, it was too much storylines going on. I was really excited to see how this movie actually came to the conclusion. And when it came, I just wasn't satisfied. I almost felt like the director didn't know how to end it. It was like, it was too much things going on. It was just kind of ended like that. Kind of, yeah, that's how it ends. It's it's bleak and it's not satisfying, but that's, that's life, isn't it? So maybe that's what he was going for. And if he, if he is going for that, then it was a great ending, but for me, I just felt like it was a bit, a bit weak. I was left needing more and wanting more. But as I said, very satisfied with the movie because even though the last 10, 15 minutes wasn't my cup of tea, I felt like the overall movie of the first two hours is fantastic. It's a classic. It lives up to every expectation of people talk about it. If you hear someone in your office, in your workplace talking about this movie, it is worth it and I would highly recommend it. But it's a slow detective crime thriller. So if you're not into the end movies, then don't watch it. But if you are, you're gonna love this here. And Jack Nicholson is fantastic in this here. He just he owns the movie the whole way through it. Uh Faye Dunno Dunaway is fantastic in it as well, and she's absolutely gorgeous as well. So it's easy to watch, but she is fantastic. One small part about this movie which I didn't like, maybe it's just because it was based in 1937. Maybe the way women were treated back then was the way they were treated. But I feel like that they portrayed that during and that light and I felt really almost, 
I felt hard to watch. There's one scene. I'll tell you. Any, I'll tell you anyway. I wasn't going to spoil it, but fuck, I probably spoiled it all. Where Jack Nicholson's character is repeatedly slapping Faye Dunaway's character. I get where he's coming from from because he is frustrated because she's not telling the truth. But you find out she actually is telling the truth the whole time, and he just slaps her four or five times. And it makes me feel really uncomfortable. I don't know. I just didn't like it. I don't know if I, if you director wanted you to feel uncomfortable, wanted you to be like frustrated not saying that you want to hit her. But it just didn't sit well with me. It was a 1974 movie based in 1937. So the way they treat women, they talk about women and all too is obviously changed in 2020. Hopefully, but you don't know. But that's just my opinion. You know, that was my review. If you if you agree or disagree with me, then comment below. Let me know. We'll have a conversation about it because it's a very interesting movie, and I love going back and watching old classic movies. Movies these days always seem to be about CGI, green screen, explosions, and stuff. Why this here is all about the character development and the character interaction and storyline carries the movie. I think that's the most important part of a movie. But sure, let me know what you think below. Am I talking shit? I probably am. But let me know what you think below. Thanks. Hi everyone, thanks for watching the video. Please like, comment and subscribe. Just to let you know, we've got similar content available on the channel if you want to check it out. We also do our own podcast called MC Podcast and where we cover a range of topics from politics, sports and even movies. We basically just talk a lot of shit. We argue a lot as well on it there, but all the links are below. We're on all major platforms, uh, Spotify, iTunes and is there any other? Um, that's the main ones yeah, yeah the main ones. just check out the podcast and if there's any sort of videos you want us to react to drop us a comment on the in the youtube videos and we'll be sure to check it out oh if you want to make fun of us then go ahead we don't be care. nice be nice we, to be, in fairness we don't really get that many comments no I don't yeah stop looking at me